Hey guys, Craig here. Welcome back to some more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the previous episode, <laughs> we brought the th four pieces of beans, Sorry, I don't know why I follow three. And we have gained the Bean Star, powerful sleeping grantor of witches. We also got fake Bean Star to give to Violet and Fawful. We also got Peach's Axe Death, because you know, that is just as important as the other story items. Also, we got our final bros move through the Secret Scroll 2. And that means we can now move on to this new area called Joke's End to hopefully confront Pac, Lara and Fawful for a final time. Let's just go, oh wait, there's a bean here. After this, let's just go right on in. Hold it, you two. This palace is our playground, understand? Do you two want to play here too? In that case, at least you could say hello to those of us who were here first. Eh? Uh, me? I'm Jojora. I'm the buddy of a cousin of a descendant of a spirit who once guarded this place. Princess Peach? By letter? Man, I have no idea who you're talking about. Whatever. Look, if you want to go inside, then go on ahead. Be my guest. Go nuts! I don't know what kind of adventure you've been on to get here, but man. Getting through here won't be as nearly as easy as what you're used to. No way. <clears throat> I'm calling bullshit right here. Let's go right on in. So this is Joke's End. As you can see, it's one of the most creepy areas we've been to to date. I dare say one of the most creepy areas. The most creepy area to date by far, like. So let's just go right on in. And let's see if what he says is true. This isn't as easy as it once was. But yeah, as you can see, go straight on in and there's clump and a glurp. You can tell that the names are weirder. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just, I'm sorry, it's just checking. Um, how much different um, Mario's flipping thing is. Let's see. I think Fire and Thunder, yeah, Fire and Thunder are... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Mario, no. Um, yeah. Mario and Luigi's Fire and Thunder are the weakness of the Glurps. And I believe one of the weaknesses to these guys here... Also, I may change Mario's stuff because I'm just not used to the time that these enemies yet. Also, I accidentally hit the wrong enemy, which makes things fun. Ah, we'll just finish off the blurb. But yeah, I'm going to probably um, change Mario's items around because we're not very good. Also, some lucky hits here. Oh, shit. And I don't want to just defeat this guy so quickly just because... Yeah, oh, there we go. Gravity jump badge. Because one of the problems is, <coughs> is if you use a fire um, against them, it'll burn his hair off and I'll obviously end the battle a lot earlier because he's like, oh no, my hair. <laughs> oh, that made sense, but let's see. Oh, I guess we could change this a lot. Strengthens critical hits and lucky hits. That's actually pretty useful. Sensible trousers are automatically. And I think this is like the most useful one yet, but let's see what the guard slots are like. Shroom slacks. Uh, I thought that's actually kind of useful to be fair. Let's say, I think this is honestly gonna be the most useful one, which doesn't flip and put us on the heavy mood forever. And here's another enemy right here. So jump. But guys, yeah, this is gonna be. Okay, I don't know what I'm about to try and say here. Oh. Um. Yeah, this is gonna be a difficult enough area. Let me see. Is this guy? He seems like he's an ice snippet, so let's see. Fire? Yeah, okay. At least some things make sense here. But also, I'm going to show off the cyclone bone bones. Um, bros. Because this is honestly a really good... Um... Flippin... Um... Flippin bros attack. As you can probably see. Oh, come on. That's a sad. Should have finished him off there. Ultra Mushroom. Okay, but that's a really good... Item to be fair. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, I've 
I was never really the best at the timing of these enemies, and I still can't really remember what it looks like. Okay, and the sense this guy has a pound trace, let's use Cyclone Bruce again. Also, the fact is, we are still trying to, you know, get this done. We want a flipping. I'm trying to think of a word for it. Let's say excellent. Oh, really? I haven't gone excellent this year, I just realized. Oh, yes, that just shows off how good I am here. Actually, have I gone excellent this? Okay, also, let's see if we can end this battle prematurely. Okay, well, it didn't even. Uh, I'm finishing prematurely, but. Yep. There we go, Luigi is gonna level up. But, guys, yeah, you can tell that this is kind of ends and type of stuff here. Since they're like, wow, your adventure must have been difficult, but you've never. You haven't saw anything like it yet. That just kind of tells you everything. And I believe this is uh, <clears throat> this place this part here is completely optional. But since it's a let's play, I will show it off. Okay, so come on, let's see here. Oh really that's a sad. I don't really know how this is gonna work in the 3DS version, because the wind seems to be a bit different in this version. Let's see if it moves by itself. Why the hell am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be right back here until I do it because I feel like I'm doing something very stupid here. Oh, but down here there is a a block full of coins actually, 200 to be exact, that pays for our hand movements. Okay, once again, I'll be right back. Alright, I think I figured it out here. So I just keep on doing things like that, and there we go! That wasn't too hard actually. Congratulations! Excellent job making all the way up here. Let me commemorate this moment, please. Take this. You got the Peasley stocks. Okay, I was not was I, what I was actually expecting to get. I was expecting to get a red pepper because I saw that is what you actually got um, last time you were here. I don't even remember a Peasley stocks spin a thing, but let's see what they're like after all that work. Uh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Sometimes you need more stash in your life. And I feel like this is one of the moments where you do need more stash. Because you know what? <laughs> Stash is always useful, he says. <laughs> but let's see here. So, there's Jujura again, floating as creepily as ever. I wonder if you can make it over here. <clears throat> it's almost like this place is one giant trial, isn't it? But I don't know, I've always... Joke's end, I don't know. I've never liked it or disliked it, it's been a weird place. But I do like the look it's got here. I think it was like, I didn't, I was, I was in between before because it was just a bit strange. Also, I just came out here to check there's any beans, I did not mean for this to happen to me. There we go. Oh my word, Mario is like doing shite like. It's probably because I took away his flipping all his defense like, but, uh, whoops. So that's how we look here, I want to use the Cyclone Bros. I want to see if... I can do, I'm trying to see if I can do this properly this time. There we go, hopefully I was good enough, like, I, I'm not sure. Also, yeah, you can change it mid-attack. Oh, really? How come I can't get Axel on this at all? That's not good. That ain't good. Okay, at least I'm starting to be able to dodge him. You know what, though? We're going to... No, we can't even. There's anything that's multi-hit. That's a sad. So finish off him, get Ultra Mushroom, and go use Cyclone Bros once again, just because I want to. I want. Okay, but that says B, so I'm wondering if I have to hit B every time. No. So I'm just sucking really badly at this end. Let's see, yeah, that must be a level up for Mario. Let's see if we can up, up his defense a little bit. Defense, come on. I still do feel like it's over leveled, even as it is, but eh. Could be better, I guess. Okay, we'll, upload, we'll upgrade his speed stash, I mean, because that's obviously what we love to do. And let's go down here to um, get a health upgrade, because why not? Not health upgrade, flipping. 
first put all stats back to max. And uh, let's see, is there anything up here? No. But yeah, that's really about it. I don't know why I'm saying that's really about it, but you just get me. That's it, he says. As a meteorologist, I'm particularly interested in the world with the PNC. So, hmm. I love what. It, there's one problem with this in the original version. In the original version, you can see like a whirlpool just around the place. Let's see. Oh my god, I actually did get a jump. I'm happy, but I'm proud of that. Also, I can jump in his for weakness. Oh, really? Is that going to be. Okay. Oh yeah, I was about to say, it's not going to be for everything. But they kind of made it far slower than the original game. It just kind of threw up and I just went... Tch, 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 tch. <laughs> Instead of just going... Doom. Doom. But that's how we look here. Ah, oh, there's nothing like okay. it. So is jumping actually the critical of these guys? But there's nothing else you can do. There's legitimately nothing else you can do. But come on. I won't be able to do this. Come on, why is this so... Also, how come I can just attack the jumping bastards? Why, yeah, that, that's a good point. Why can't I jump, attack the jumping men whenever I'm in Cyclone Brothers? There we go, a lovely little critical. And once again, I can't really do anything, but that's just... So yes, I'll knock them down. And I do feel like I'm gonna cut this spell because you've basically seen everything a million times. Press. Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to fight, figure out what the best way to do this is. So, see this guys all the way second. Oh, there we go. Cyclone Bro Brothers still flipping upgraded to full. So, the Super Cyclone Brothers. Brothers. So, let's see here. Oh, shit! <laughs> That did not end the way I was expecting it to. Because I was expecting it to be one of those things that was hard and long, and then was one of those ones that took a long time to hit. Okay. We'll do Super Cyclone Brothers next. I wonder if it's only great you can get for a well one, for a normal one, because I know for excellent for the um, Super Cyclone Brothers, it's basically the same, only there's one extra thing at the end. But there we go. Damn, that one didn't go as well. Like. So let's see what's in here. Wow. How is this a hidden room? Like, what's the point of making that a hidden room? Oh, well, it isn't really a hidden room because you still need to come through it again. But damn, there's a lot of stuff in here. But I am going to avoid a couple of battles because I don't want just every single part of this episode to be, oh, be right back. But here we go. Lovely little bit of tickle here. But yes, guys, we are at the end stages here. And uh, this is an interesting part of the game, actually. It's different. It's definitely a different part of the game because, as you can see, this utilizes every single thing we've learned in the game so far. So it isn't just like, wow, this is just like every part of the game. Like, f think about, for example, um, Guafa Runes was all just everything that we've learned already in Mario. Oh, shit. Oh no, I remember it's our part here and I fucked it up, haven't I? Hold on, we said, can I stay just walking? Well, no, <laughs> well, you can do all walking in uh, the 3DS version, you couldn't, and the other version was a lot, a lot harder. But, <laughs> yes, here we go, down here, the door is now opened. And I think you can guess what we're doing at the moment. But, okay. Did I see a hidden block somewhere? I swear I saw a hidden block somewhere. That's just up here. <laughs> so let's use a hammer here. What's out here? Okay, it's just more stuff. But yeah, um, this part here, is, this entire area here, is just utilizing everything we've learned. Crack in the wall, fucking smash it. Um, high up ledge, just use a high jump. Use a tickle, dash, thunder, lightning, dunk, mini. Use absolutely everything in this area. Like, it's such a good. I love this area for a reason. However, it is. It is. I don't know. It's a strange area. But, okay, that's just. 
you know what, let's just do this as efficiently as possible. We don't need the coins, and these blocks are just so tedious. So let's see, is that... Yep, there we go. That's the new way I'm gonna do those blocks. Because, like, they're just so boring, like, there's nothing to them at all. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, this is the actual way we have to go. Way. And a couple of more... Couple more oh flip and I mean to hit that button. Couple more blocks in the way for for you here. As I said before, everything, including hidden blocks, are just everywhere. I do love why I've done hidden blocks in this game though, because there's a little hint that there is a hidden block versus just absolutely nothing. But there we go, like a lot of heat has been risen. But let me actually check and see what how many blocks there actually is in joke sand. Only 32, really? Okay, I was expecting a lot more than 32, a lot more, because like, I've already got 12, that wasn't that hard, that wasn't that hard at all. Alright, new move here by these guys here. Oh, and this is also a new move, the fact that they can split up into multiple people, but okay, I'll be right back once I get to the outside portion after spawn. Alright guys, we're out of potato mic quality for about 30 seconds here because uh, my audio cut out for about 30 seconds here so I'm just commentating here and here we are. Is this, this is where the real challenge begins. Look, you're probably blah blah blah, I did not read at all. But yes, guys, back to potato mic standard. By the way, this will be fixed in about two and a half episodes time, I realise mid episode. So, see us guys, all in a wee second, where we go back to Potato Mike. See us guys then, bye. But either way, the bros are now fully split up. Remember what I said before about like, Mario and Luigi never really split up anymore, and then I paused and like, oh shit, I forgot. This is the part I forgot about. Um, so yeah, this is an interesting area. You don't really want to get into that many battles. The end result, obviously, is to get up here for obvious reasons but yeah as you can see there is also going there's also you also need to collaborate with both brothers as well so there's a lot of stuff to do here and i actually like this all right portion of the game and you don't really walk into battles and have a boss you have to do a battle i'm gonna run away not for the reason i'm afraid i'm gonna lose or anything that is definitely possible because Obviously, if something bad happens, you can't really revive your brother. But it's more because I don't want one brother to be more leveled up than the other. I might get into a couple of battles of Mario just to try to even the odds, because obviously Luigi's had a couple of solo endeavors. Wait, hold on, was that a hidden block I saw? I don't know, everything's just so mysterious in this area, so I don't think it was actually. But here we go. Yeah, so there's only like a couple of things we can really do around here. Oh, I'm definitely not going to get into a battle of Luigi like. If I'm honestly, like I did say it was slightly difficult. I think I was the entire entirety here. Oh yeah, so if we do this and then jump with both brothers. Okay, we've changed the area up a wee bit. Oh no, we haven't really. I think that's for something else I'm thinking of. But yeah, that's the, actually no, that was the entirety of the Split Up Brothers section. I remember being far, far longer. So here we go. Hmm, wow, if you've come all the way here, you obviously don't go up, I'll give up easily. Cool. And now, the world pill appears. So I, this is a present for me to you. Press the A and B buttons, hit the blocks and come flying up to score points. If you have 25 points in 25 seconds or less, I'll open the store for you. Cool. So yeah, that's a new challenge. So this is just like the Woohoo University here, where we have to do this jumping thing. And yep, it's not that much harder than the Woohoo University one. Obviously, but you know what, I'm sucking at the moment, so obviously it is. But yeah, uh, I think I am still a wee bit on target here. Oh god. It's whenever I get fast enough. Oh, okay, come on, just need one more. There we go, four seconds. You know what? That was not that hard at all. Four seconds to spare out of 25. Like, we've done worse. 
But yeah, you know what? With that, thank you guys all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you guys all next time, where we finish off the jokes end. See you guys all then. Bye.